Good morning, I'm at St Uni, about to walk the St Michael's Way, but not on my own. I am so lucky because I've got Em, they're my apprentice, who does all my YouTubes and they're amazing, and Rob's, who's having an absolute <laughs> meltdown about poles, and the amazing John, who is basically team coordinator. Obviously the footpath scenes have been quite tricky with uh, nowhere to stay and being, you know, past dead ended, not really joining up, so this the continuous route is by the by now. There's been some frustration in recent days. I'm not very good with feeling frustrated. Like I can't get forward momentum and I can't get rolling and it wasn't to plan. But that's partly my ADHD I think and my neurodiversity that changing plans when I'm all invested in them is really hard to let go of them. But then when you do let go of them, cool things can happen. Um, so I'm working on that. All right, we're going to start in a second. Is that Rob's? <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> come on, tell um, us your knowledge. You are the research queen. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of routes that come to here um, that lead to St. Michael's. And what kind of routes? Pilgrim routes. What, what are those? Religious routes. Okay. <laughs> Religious routes to St. Michael's Mount. Um, and they all but lead... it is linked to the Camino de Santiago because apparently they then get boats across to join the routes to and the Camino. So we're in St. Uni Old Churchyard. We haven't gone very far because this in itself is super interesting and worth stopping for. There are lots of uh, Commonwealth graves in here. And also you can see the beautiful flowers in this churchyard. It's not mown so that uh, bees can populate and eat and make their nectar. You can tell I'm not a bee expert because I'm sure they do none of those things, but the flowers are for the bees. Yeah. So I mean, what, what are they? Cable ties. And where have you picked them up from? The beach, the shoreline. And every day? Every day. And where do you think they're coming from? I think they're coming from fishing boats. Cutting them off their lobster pots? I think so. Who knows? And nets. Yeah. And do any fishermen ever say, so sorry if you find our cable ties? No, I don't get involved. Yeah. No. <laughs> Honestly, you just yeah. collect them. You know, well, they thank just, you for doing they it. They just need to find an alternative. This is Michael's Way, it takes us through a golf course. And you can see the beautiful Navy Lighthouse over there. We've got a lot of action happening. We've got golf, and then this just landed by our heads nearly dead from golf course but it's okay because it's next to a sign saying be careful because it's a golf course then there's train tracks so this is like one of those danger videos you watched at school oh. yeah thanks thanks lads for the lobotomy oh my god there's a train coming look oh. We are around Carbis Bay and we've come out the other side. Um, we took a slightly, uh, I don't know, intuitive route, let's say, that the pilgrims themselves might have taken. And um, now, that's Trencrom Hill and it's gorgeous, the views from up there we'll see shortly. And now we're gonna tackle some cowsers, because we love cowsers. sure what this was a little tupperware pot underneath the rock and it's got this kind of ticker tape in with everyone's dates and initials and a plucky bag so we're going to make sure it all goes back in and figure out that's my can by the way it's not litter figure out what it might be well, that is going back where i found it all sealed up watertight under the special rock lovely and on we go Thanks for waiting, team. 
I wish I had my passport. What's you got there? It's a passport stamp for St. Michael's Way. <gasps> That's so rad. What That's should we so stamp? Cool. I know, I need to stamp something. So up there behind us, as we're finding something to stamp, is Trencrom Hill, Neolithic settlements up there. They say potentially 15 unexcavated settlements at the top of Trencrom Hill. We've got the St Michael's Way stamp and we've got no passports. So I'm going to use my ADHD prescription envelope <laughs> that I filled the other day to stamp. <sighs> it's so lovely. Fantastic, I'm one for Rob's. Yes, you're welcome! <laughs> Yay! A place of mythic and strategic significance since Neolithic times. Rocks at the top. Long held to be the work of giants. Up there, the rocky outcrop. It's a cool boulder. But onwards we go on our pilgrim route to Marazai. Guys, looks a bit moody. Now it looks like it's probably a Wesleyan chapel with the beautiful windows. What do you think, Robs? Probably. Oh, this is so lovely. Look at that chapel. Primitive Methodist Chapel, 1873. Is that some giggling of falling no, in a bog? No, we're not falling in a bog yet. <laughs> oh, goodness. So on the other side of Trencrom Hill, there it is. And you can see people sitting up on the top and they've got the sunshine. And we're not in the sunshine. It's still blimmin' warm. Okay. Do one handed. Thanks. It's such a nice meadow. <laughs> they don't teach that anywhere about walking in the countryside. Where would they have taught us that stuff? In school? I got taught to look after the countryside in school. What about you guys? Yeah, you yeah, folks? Did not. You didn't? No, I don't think so. I think I maybe remember. in primary school maybe. So that's a quarry up there and Roger's dodge. What's it Roger's ding dong? Roger's, what did we say it was? Roger's tower? Roger's tower. <laughs> Roger's, Roger's ding dong. <laughs> and then look where these beautiful fields take us. That over there. Le Mont de Saint Michel de Conway. Bloody St. Michael's Mount, isn't it? Good girl, Bly. <laughs> oh, a little tail wag. Good yeah. girl, Bly. <laughs> <laughs> what a spot. This is a lovely route. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, Bly. Bit low. Hi, Bly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. So our first glimpse of St. Michael's Mount was across the fields there. So breathtaking, no matter how many times you see it. Where's the pheasant? Down there. Under the What's tree. that? Oh, is that a pheasant? Yeah. Huh. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're a bit stupid, aren't they? Don't <laughs> you want to fly? No? So lovely to hear the church bells. This is your field of wheat moment, Em. Um. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think that's the reason I liked it. Yeah. See us gambling through the fields of wheat. Oh, Robin behind me, see us stack it. You stack it, Rob? Yeah. Yeah, stacked it. 
Where's Bly? Oh, she licking your leg, dribbling on you. Ten and a quarter miles to go was Lelan, and in case anyone doesn't know what to do tonight, <laughs> K and J are having a party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's K and J. <laughs> Congratulations! You look gorgeous. So we're in Marizai. Second time for me in a few days. Came through here going the other direction the other day, around the end. Uh, we're not all the way around Land's End because of the rain, but now we're coming back the other way, having crossed over from the north coast. That looks amazing. Are you doing it for the, for the Jubilee? Yeah. Oh, you don't mind me filming it. Not. And you're a local artist? Yes, yeah, for the Marazine Art Group. How lovely. How long has this taken so far? Two days, two, days. two days. Two days and you've created this masterpiece. <laughs> wow. I especially love that swan and the bee. So Michael's mum, it's never not impressive when you turn around a corner. And there it is, especially cobbled street on a sunny, sparkly sea day. Guys, what do you think about Angela Reno and the issue in the Daily Mail? Okay. Any thoughts on uh, Jacob Rees Mogg's passive aggressive cards for civil servants? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Thank you for your time. <laughs>